<clears throat> okay, brothers and sisters, for those of you that know about my video that I made last night concerning John Hagee, I just read this article on him, and it's literally shocking. Now, I want to get into this, because he's, you guys can do your own research. Don't take my word for it. Do your own research and see if these things are so. And you'll be surprised that you'll come find out who he really is. And he is not who he's claiming to be. He wrote it in his own, in his book, In Defense of Israel. And he's trying to say that he didn't say it in proper language. Believe me, somebody that's writing a book, before you publish a book, you review it. You go over it before you publish it. This guy knows exactly what he's doing. He does not want to offend the Jewish people. So he says that they're automatically saved because they are God's chosen people and they are saved by the Mosaic <clears throat> covenant that God made to Abraham. He even said it. Don't preach to the Jews. Preach to the Buddhists. Preach, preach to other people. But leave the Jews alone. This is totally... And he says... Clearly in his book, okay, I don't have my Bible with me, but, okay, hold on, because you guys, 1 John chapter 2, verse 22, if we have time after, I want to close it with that, it says, he that denies Jesus as the Christ is of Antichrist, and he actually said it, this will show, he actually goes so far, this will shake Christian theology, in my delightest book, In Defense of Israel, this will show that the Jews did not reject Jesus as Messiah, for how can they reject something that was not offered to them? This will show, word indeed, that Jesus did not come into the world to be the Messiah, and his, his, uh, his death was a Calvary conspiracy through Herod and so on to, to, to be a, a Rexus, to be alive. Now, what's the Bible say? All through the Old Testament, God rose up prophets saying, the Messiah is coming, etc., and Ed, he's saying that Jesus did not come into the world to be the Messiah. If that's the case, we're all in big trouble, brothers and sisters. Like Paul said, if Christ is our only hope in this life, we're like the rest of man, miserable. And those that have died have perished. Jesus is the Messiah, regardless of what John Hagee said. Many of you may be saying, yeah, but I listen to John Hagee. He says that Jesus is the Christ. He says he's the Messiah. Yeah, he does. But why doesn't he say that to the Jews? Why does he say he's two-faced? John Hagee is a two-faced, brothers and sisters, regardless of what you think. My job is not to please man. I don't care what you guys think of me. I'm not looking for the approval of man. I'm looking for the approval of God. Okay? John Hagee is a two-faced. Okay? He says one thing when he's with the Christians, and he says another thing when he's with the Jews. Now, I want to read this, and this is very, very shocking people that were personally, that this guy that went to Israel, very close to someone, <clears throat> and this girl personally met John Hagee, and John Hagee told her, oh, you don't need Jesus Christ, you don't need Jesus, you keep the law of the Torah, Mosaic Covenant, you are saved, that is an everlasting promise, that God will not go back, yes, it is an everlasting promise, what is that promise? The promises to the Jews that they will forever be, but they need Jesus as their Messiah. They need Jesus as their Messiah. That's why Jesus said in the in the Gospel of Luke and in Matthew too. If only now you would have recognized the hour of your visitation. How I how I desire to gather you as a hen gathers her chicks. But there'll come a time when your enemies will surround you and they'll not leave one stone left upon another. But yet, if they would have repented, that wouldn't have happened. But God already knew it was going to happen. He already knew. So it's clear. And Jesus witnessing to Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a Jew. He didn't say, oh, Nicodemus, you don't have to accept me. He didn't say that. He said, I tell you. Because Nicodemus was a Pharisee. He was a secret follower of Jesus. Because he didn't want to be put down or slandered or whatever. So he came to see Jesus by night secretly, and he said, We know that you are a teacher sent by God, for no one can do the things that you do unless God is with them. And if you notice, Jesus didn't say, You're right, Nicodemus. He changed the subject. 
the most important subject of all. It's not those miracles. He says, I tell you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God and he cannot enter the kingdom of God. And Jesus took him all the way through the Torah to let him understand who he was, where he said, just as Moses lifted up the serpent on the wilderness, so shall the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him shall have eternal life. You see? He told Nicodemus, a religious leader, even though you're religious, even though you follow the Torah and all this, you must be born again. If you're not born again, you're not going to enter the kingdom. The Bible is very clear. Religion will not save you. There's only one person in history that can save you, and that one person is the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to make this clear. The Bible says clearly, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and nobody is saved by the law. That's why it says, For Jesus redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. People that keep the law are cursed. The wrath of God still abides upon them, because nobody is going to be saved by the law. That's why the Apostle Paul said, I would have not have known what sin was unless the law told me. You shall not covet, and so on. And plus, John 3.16, what does it say? For God so loved what? A remnant of people? No. For God so loved the world that whosoever believes, whoever, that means everybody, and whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Scripture is very clear. Very, very clear. If a, Jewish if a Jewish person dies today without knowing Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, they go to hell. And they will be in hell for all of eternity. That's the truth. Jesus made it abundantly clear. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but through me. And in Acts chapter 4 verse 12, there is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. I am the door. He that enters through me shall be saved. Which means if you don't enter through Jesus, you're not saved. And like what he said to the religious Pharisees, if you do not believe that I am who I say I am, you will die in your sins. That's very powerful. You will die in your sins if you don't believe that Jesus is who we claim to be. And Jesus Christ has proven himself over and over and over again. He said, this is going to happen, boom, it happens specifically as he says it. If you notice, everything that Jesus said in Matthew, Mark, Luke, all the things that he said that would be happening right before his second coming, that would be leading up to his second coming, are happening exactly as he said. That's why Jesus said in John chapter 13, verse 19, I tell you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe that I am He. And then John chapter 14, verse 29, He says, I tell you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. Jesus has told us the history of the world before it happens. He is who He claimed to be. And <laughs> believe me, if He can predict the future, and He has a track record of accuracy, and He's never made one mistake, not even once, not even close, that would get my attention to pay close attention with the rest of the stuff that he has to say. So, let us get into this thing, what John Hagee has to say here. And it's funny that he took a video down, but there's one video that is still left up. So, I want you guys to see this. So, I want to read this article to you guys so you guys can see clearly what I'm saying here. This is very dangerous what he's teaching. He's preaching another gospel. And what does the Bible say about that? Let him be accursed. Let him be accursed. Saying you can be saved by keeping the Torah. What a bunch of lies. What a bunch of lies. Nobody is born right with God. You are born a sinner. And unless you repent, you will perish. And that's the truth. Nobody is born right with God. Why everybody needs to be born again. The Bible says that we're all born headed in the wrong direction, headed towards hell. That's why Jesus says you must repent, you must turn around. And the Bible is very clear on that topic. On that topic. Very clear. 
So, anyways, if they can be saved by keeping the Torah, what's the very reason for the time of Jacob's trouble? If they're already saved by keeping it? Doesn't make sense. So, let us get into this, brothers and sisters. So I want to read it, and uh, this is all I want to say. I want to expose John Hagee right now like I did last night, but I want to get into more depth because people need to know who he is. He's a wolf in sheep clothing. That's who John Hagee is. Don't be fooled by him, okay? Don't be fooled by his speeches. The Bible says clearly in the last days that there will be wolves coming to you in sheep clothing, don't even be surprised, for even Satan can disguise himself as an angel of light, and even his ministers appear as angels of light, of ministers. So let's get into this. Right here. Okay. John Hagee on dual covenant theology. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Matthew chapter 15 Verse 24, that's Jesus Christ speaking, okay? Now, this is, okay, yeah, Jesus says here too, John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Now, this is John Hagee, right here. Everyone else, rather Buddhist or Buddha, I need to, I Buddha needs to believe in Jesus, but not Jews. Huh, really? But not Jews, really. Excuse me? Can you please show me a verse in Scripture, please, to back your claims up? And guess what? You don't have any claims because you're a wolf. You're a Judas. That's who you are. He's a Judas. John Hagee's interview... Yeah, John Hagee's interview with Huston... Some, some person, okay? Now let's see what happened in this interview here. An open invitation to Pastor Hagee. We have done our level best to quote your words accurately and directly through newspapers, interviews. You have given videos. <laughs> you have given video. You have started in and in. Speeches you have given in Israel. We even published your dual o denial, yeah, his denial of dual covenant theology as you wrote in complete and undirect. If you take issues with any parts of this article, we invite you to call in to our radio show and we can discuss it openly, honestly, and fairly. You may also email us here. To set up a meeting, we look forward to speaking with you soon. Okay. Do covenant theology explained? Now, this is what John Hagee believes. Okay. For those of you who don't know, this is what do covenant theology is. Do covenant theology is a liberal Christian view that holds that Jews may simply keep the law of Moses because of the everlasting covenant, Genesis chapter 17, verse 13, between Abraham and God expressed in the Hebrew Bible, where Gentiles, those not Jews or, or Jew, Jewish person, must convert to Christianity or ultimately accept the, the seven laws of Noah, many forms of Christianity, especially convinced, prosper, consider the view to this heresy. Yeah. Exactly. It's heresy. Well, so let's continue. Does John Hagee teach do covenant theology? How do I know this? Now listen very carefully, brothers and sisters. How do I know this? A friend of mine who lives in Israel met with Pastor Hagee and his staff, including the Cheryl... Some, some person, I don't know how to read these names here, a key director of CUFI, Christian United for Israel, at this meeting, attended by over 5,000. She was told by both Pastor Hagee and Cheryl Morrison that Jews are saved by Aramaic covenant. He told them, in effect, 
that they do not need Jesus because they have God's promise to Abraham. Wow. Where's the sacrifice for sin, Mr. Hagee? Hmm. I wonder that. The Jewish haven't had a temple for years. What a bunch of lies. This is, an, this is a fact. This happened a few weeks ago. This is not something I found on the internet. This is a real life story that happened to someone I am personal friends with. Needless to say, when she told me that I was floored, I had been sharing the gospel with her for well over a year, and now here she was telling me that John Hagee and CUFI assured her that all she needed to get to heaven was the Aramaic covenant. Hmm. What a bunch of lies, man. This is a bunch of bull crap. Okay, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta say it as it is. This is a bunch of bull. Because remember Jesus, what he said in, in the Gospel of John? He, he condemned the Pharisees. Because it's all that they did. They kept the law. They kept the law. Law, law, law. Every time he did a miracle, they got mad at him because he did it on the Sabbath. And Jesus condemned them. He said, you study the scriptures. For in them you think they, you get eternal life. And yet these very scriptures speak of me. But you're unwilling to come to me in order that you may have life. How can you believe Moses and not believe me? For Moses wrote about me. So how will you believe what I say? See? John Hagee's not preaching the gospel here, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus would be, if he was here today, he'd be outraged. He'd be condemned. He's not up there really pleased right now with Mr. Hagee here. And there's actual videos of John Hagee doing the satanic uh, signal as well. And he knows exactly what he's doing here. So the guy says clear. Abrahamic covenant it broke my heart let me be crystal clear before we go any further when evidence of this heresy was first presented to me the first thing I did was to correct John Hagee ministries and look what happened in August Texas in Austin Texas to direct this with them I called and asked to speak with someone Regarding Mr. Hagee's portion of how salvation for the Jews is attained, after listening to several nervous, huh, I wonder why they're nervous, huh? Maybe because they're liars? Maybe? Because if you're not hiding anything, there's nothing to be afraid of? Nervous. Sounding and mittering officers told me they could not help me. Huh, I wonder why. What's the gospel message? Repent, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And you don't know how to tell people how Jews can be saved? Wow. I guess they don't know anything. I was finally put in contracts with one Ben Rings who told me that she is the administrative director of Christians United for Israel. Story continued after the video. And guess what? They took this video down, by the way. Huh. I wonder why. Those that work in darkness don't want to be exposed? Well, it's too late. It's too late. The video that John Hagee does not want you to see is which is right here. You click on it, it doesn't work. You will notice that checking on the video below below brings up an event. YouTube notice that the video has been determined from the NT YouTube channel. This was done at the eventual request of the people at John Hagee Ministries. Why would they do this? Yeah, good question. I wonder why would they do that? And yet, doesn't John Hagee say, bring in the gospel to all nations around the world? Hmm, I wonder. All nations except Israel, of course. Remember that. But yet, Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creation. Hmm. So let's see here. They did it because in the video, with, with is a commercial for Hagee's book, In Defense of Israel, John Hagee assists that Jesus did not come into the earth to be the Messiah. Yes, that's right. John Hagee said that, and John Hagee believes that, but when the book was published, listen to this, look how criminals back up their, back up their crimes to justify their, their criminal, the, criminal, the crime that they committed. Watch what John Hagee says about his book. But when the book was published, 
there was such an outrage. Well, who wouldn't be outraged? You're claiming to be a man of God, and you're not. You're a wolf. You're, you're revealing your true colors, buddy. Outcry. People were outcried against his absolute historical portion that Heggie was forced to rewrite, huh? To rewrite, huh? To rewrite what? Hmm. His book. To rewrite his book. Why? Aren't you supposed to review it, to go over it, to see if you made any mistakes? And especially if you're a minister of God and you studied, you should know the Bible. Especially talking about, you should know everything about the Bible. Well, not everything, but you know what I'm trying to say. You know salvation. By someone saying the Jews don't need Jesus as their Messiah, you know the guy's a heretic. Like this guy here, John Hagee is. To rewrite his book and claim that he was misprinted. Yeah, right, misprinted my eye. He got caught. Now he's trying to he's trying to back he's trying to justify himself. He's trying to cover it up, but he can't. Was misprinted and that he used the wrong words. Yeah, right, used the wrong words, my eye, to get his point across. There is no point. Read the Bible and you'll see it for yourself here. At the same time he released his book, he also made a television commercial that ran on T V N. I remember seeing this. I actually T I actually saw this on T V. Hmm. But I didn't understand it, because that was a long time ago. I didn't I didn't remember what he said, but I remember seeing that. TBN with him looking into the camera and saying the very thing that he claims people have misprinted from his book. Maybe you can misprint a book from the way you read it, but him doing a TV commercial saying exactly what he denies, denies it that it's pretty powerful stuff things like this are usually referred to as the smoking gun ah exactly john Hagee ministries attacks n n t e b in attempt to silence video yeah silence video here's how is the Commerce of John Hagee saying that Jesus did not come to the earth to be the Messiah. This action takes by John Hagee Ministries promoting you to YouTube to remove this video has resulted in the permanent decision of the NTEB YouTube channel. <clears throat> so let's get into more. I want to see how much time is left here. Okay. Jesus did not come to the earth to be the Messiah. From John Hagee's book, In Defense of Israel, the Jewish people have a relationship to God through the law of God as given through Moses. Hagee said, I believe that every Gentile person can only come to God through the cross of Christ. I believe that every Jewish person who lives in light of the Torah, which is the word of God, has a relationship with God, and will come to redemption. The law of Moses is significant enough to bring a person into the knowledge of God until God gives him a great revelation. And God has not said, Hagi giving his the person of Romans, 11.25, yeah, Romans 11.25, Paul abandoned the idea of Jews knowing Christ. Paul abandoned the idea of Jews knowing Christ in the book of Romans. He said, I am now going to go to the Gentiles from this time forward. Judaism doesn't need Christianity to explain its existence. But Christianity has to have Judaism to explain his existence. I'm not trying to convert the Jewish people to the Christian faith. This is coming from John Hagee, guys. Okay? I am not trying to convert the Jewish people to the Christian faith. He said, there is nothing in the, nothing in the night to honor Israel that does that. In fact, trying to convert Jews is a waste of time. Wow. He said, the Jewish person 
who has his roots in Judaism is not going to convert to Christianity. There is no form of Christian evangelism that has failed so miserably. Wow, man, I can't believe my eyes, man. I cannot believe what I'm reading here. As evangelizing the Jewish people, they already have a faith stature. Everyone else, rather Buddhists or Buddha, needs to believe in Jesus, he says, but not Jews. Jews already have a covenant with God that, ha that has never been replaced by Christianity, he says. Okay. This book will expose the sins of the fathers and the various absence of the Jewish people in defense of Israel will shape Christian theology. It scripturally proves that the Jewish people as a whole did not reject Jesus, Jesus as Messiah. It will also prove that Jesus did not come into the world to be the Messiah. It will prove that there was a Calvary conspiracy between Rome and the high priests and Herod ex execute Jesus as an insurrection too dangerous to, to live. Since Jesus refused, look at this, for Jesus refused by word and deed to claim to be the Messiah, how can the Jews be blamed for rejecting what was never offered? Oh, wow. This guy is in big trouble, man. He's in big trouble with God. This is another gospel that is being preached, ladies and gentlemen. All through the Bible, Jesus claimed to be the Messiah. That's why they said blasphemy. You're only a man and you're claiming to be God. Remember what Jesus said to the woman at the well? For Samaritans will not share the same cups as Jews. And she said, I know when the Messiah comes, he'll tell us everything. And Jesus says, I am he who is speaking with you now. All through the Bible. Oh, you're 50 years... Remember Jesus says, Abraham saw my day and he was glad. But like, yet you're 50 years old and you have seen Abraham. They're all making fun of him. And Jesus, I tell you the truth. Before Abraham was, I am. Which means, I am that I am. I am God. He's the Messiah all through the Bible, all the Old Testament prophecies, this guy is an antichrist. John Hagee is a wolf claiming to be somebody that he's not, ladies and gentlemen. Beware of him. Do not even listen to this guy. From John Hagee's book, In Defense of Israel. Let's continue. Okay? Continued. I asked Mr. Readings point blank if John Hagee taught New Covenant theology. She asked me what I meant by that. And I said, does he, Mr. Hagee, tell the Jews that because of the Aramaic covenant, they don't need Jesus? Well, she, she hemmed, like, hmm, I guess she hemmed and hanged, and after a while said that she wanted to send me the document prepared by John Hagee Ministries to deny the claim that he teaches a... Uh, do covenant theology. After I read it, I called her back, but she was never again available. Huh, I wonder why. Maybe because they got caught on their own lies. Man, oh man. And message left on her mes machine were not returned. Oh, they were not returned. I wonder why. Because you guys got caught red-handed. Hmm. Here is what she sent me. John Hagee denial of do covenant theology. In response to concerning regarding unscripted rumors that I believe in due covenant theology, I am not now, nor have I ever been due covenant. I have been preaching the gospel for more than half a century. Almost every Sunday for over 52 years, I have stored in front of Christian uh, attendance to clearly proclaim the glory of our Lord and Savior, Messiah, Jesus Christ, for more than 30 years. Those weekly sermons have been burned to millions around the world on Christian television. I was surprised and somewhat disappointed to learn that some people are interpreting my entering love in support of the Jewish people through numerous nights to honor Israel, celebrating as a rejection of this most fundamental Christian belief that Jesus came to earth 
of the Messiah promised in the Holy Scriptures. Jew gave me long years of preaching and long years of preaching the gospel to so many. It simply never occurred to me that anyone would question my belief in the fundamental of the faith. Okay. Over the centuries, Christians have been quick to condemn the Jews. Hold on. Okay, hold on, guys. I'll be back. I gotta go let some. I gotta go let somebody in. Hold on. Come on, Nikki. Okay, let's get into it. Let's continue reading this. Those who love Pastor John Hagee, okay. Jews of who they missed to thanking them for what they gave blessings to and those who love Pastor John Hagee, okay. But what is he really saying? Let's find out. Now I grant you that John Hagee rejects liberal of due covenant theology and that he does not acknowledge that what he teaches is that but as the article has shown for all principles prince, practical purposes he does indeed hold to a portion that there is one path of salvation for the Jews Abraham and that there is another path for all huh there's another which means there's two right one path for Christians another path no Jesus says, I am the way. No one comes to the Father but through him. No one means no one. Okay? There's another path for all Gentiles. Jesus, Jesus, he has said exactly this in the interview with the Huston Chronicle and in his writing and teachings on the subject. In fact, he has pulled to the portion for over 30 years if NTEB was brought into a court of law tomorrow and asked to prove from Pastor Hagee's own words that he teaches a due covenant portion, it would be remarkably easy to do. What has eventual do denial letters is really about is portion about what he preaches to Gentile Christian believers. It is true that for 52 years he has stood in the pulpit and preaches Jesus. I don't, I don't deny that for one second. But what this article is about is that fact that while he preaches Jesus to the Gentiles, he says something that is proper opposed to the Jews. Exactly. He's a, he's a hypocrite. He's two-faced. Israel. He tells the Jews that all they need is Abraham, not Jesus. Nowhere in his entire denial letter does he say that Jews must receive Jesus as Savior to go to heaven. Instead, he remar he remar remarks on about all the work he has done for the for the what Christian Church. Well, Mr. Hagee. We are not asking you about the Christian church. We have asked you about the Jews. You see? <clears throat> he, he's just like a politic. Where you ask a politician a certain question and they, they try to twist it around to change the conversation to something else. He's saying, we're asking him a certain question about the Jews. He says, I did this for the Christian church. Forget about that. We're not asking anything about that. We're asking you this question. I'll answer the question, sir. You see how he's trying to get around it to get himself out of that? Because he knows he's caught. And you have not replied. In fact, Mr. Merchant, who identified himself as the offering C U F I spoker spokesman in Israel, assured me that C U F I has nothing to do with the Bible and does not discuss biblical things ever. So by that admission, I would have to come to the conclusion that CUFI 
is a humanistic organization like the United Way and not a group proclaiming Jesus to a lost and dying world. When I spoke on the phone with and it goes on and on. Like, I'm going to share this article below my description. You guys can read it for yourself. It's just incredible. It's literally incredible. The sovereign purpose for Jesus' life was to be a light to the Gentiles. Huh. Really? Really? Huh. My Bible says the totally opposite. What's it say in the Gospel of John? He came unto his own. And his own received him not, but as many as received them, to them he gave them the power to become the children of God. So let's read this. This is from John Hagee, okay? Right here. Let's read it. John Hagee's book versus King James Authorized Version, 1611 Holy Bible, Storage Hagee. <clears throat> the sovereign purpose for Jesus' life was to be a light to the Gentiles. Hmm. Let's see what Matthew chapter 15, verse 24 says. And let's see if it says anything different than John Hagee, okay? Ja John, uh, Matthew chapter 15, verse 24 says, let me read this in plain English, and let's see if it's... First, let's read again what John Hagee said. The sovereign purpose for Jesus' life was to be a light to the Gentiles? Hmm. Let's see about that. Let's see what Matthew 15, verse 24 says. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the huh, house of Israel. And then Hagee goes on. There is not one verse of scripture in the New Testament that says Jesus came to be the Messiah. Huh. Really? Let's find out. Uh, John chapter 4, verse 25 to 26. The, the woman said unto him, I know that the Messiah cometh which is called Christ, when he has come, he will tell us all things. Jesus said unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. Hmm, am he. See, Jesus said it clear. He's the Messiah. Now let's go and see what other, let's, let's go see the other uh, lies that Mr. Hagee is saying here. The Jews were not rejecting Jesus as Messiah. It was Jesus who was refusing to be the Messiah to the Jews. Wow! That's a lot. Who attacks the Jewish people, my friends? Satan does. Because Satan knows that all the promises have been made to the Jews. So, John Hagee is a puppet of the devil. And one of my, someone that I have on my Facebook said she read up on him, and she found out that, I don't know how accurate this is, though, but she said she, fa she read, but I don't know how accurate this is, though, but she read that he's a Freemason. He refused to be their Messiah, Choosing instead to be the savior of the world? Man, this guy's contradicting himself, man. The world is the whole world. So let's read Acts chapter 2, verse 36. Peter addresses the assembled mass of the Jewish people on the feast of sovereign in Jerusalem in the passage of Acts chapter 2. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know, assembly, that God has made the same Jesus whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. So right there. And then this is John Hagee right here. Jesus refused to produce a sign. Are you kidding me? Jesus did all kinds of signs. That's why they were blaspheming. You commit a miracle on the Sabbath. There's six days to work, but not on the Sabbath. Like It's crazy what John Hagee is saying. Jesus refused to produce a sign. Because it was not the Father's will, nor his to be Messiah. This is totally ridiculous. Luke chapter 11, verse 29. Yeshua, Jesus was rebuking, not refusing. And when the people were gathered sick together, he began to say, This is the evil generation that seeks the sign. There shall, there shall no sign be given to it but the sign of Jonah, the prophet. Hmm. Man, this is just incredible, ladies and gentlemen. Literally incredible. So, there you go. I'm going to be sharing this article be below my description. So, this is all i got to say, brothers and sisters out there. This is the truth here. John Hagee is a fraud. He's a manipulator. He's making big bucks off of people. He's a liar. You see how he's trying to back everything up? And yeah, these people have personal... Uh, 
people in Israel that actually heard him say that. He's going to have to talk about the Jews because they're already saved, which is a bunch of bull. He's a heretic. He's an imposter, okay? So anyways, I'm going to be sharing this article below my description. And this is what Jesus warned us about in the last days, especially about deception coming. And believe me, brothers and sisters, it is here. And I'm going to be sharing this article below my description. May you guys, may you guys read it when you have time. And this is all i got to say. And uh, God bless you all.